Thank you. Yeah, cool. Thank you. Uh, I mean, clearly you're, you're a media company and you produce content. If you were like the CEO of a big six creative agency, how would you change the business to keep changing? I mean, first of all, I have so much empathy for those big six because they're publicly held, right? I could never run a business that was reliant on every 90 days. I'd be fired. My poor CFO is barely holding on because I come up with six business ideas that lose money every minute and we, like, we like finally get our main machine awesome and I take all the profits away because I'm investing in everything. AI, machine learning, e-commerce, VR, AI, like, because I'm playing a marathon. So first of all, I don't, it's hard for me to give advice to a sprinter when I'm a purebred marathon runner, right? Um, the reason I think the big six are so vulnerable in a 25 year window is you can't be in the client service business and not have the client's interest in mind. Mine was, to your point, by accident. Because I want to become my clients, I'm trying to see the best behavior in the biggest companies in the world so I can see it, so I can figure out what to do next. I'm not Mother Teresa, I'm not a better human, I just have a different game that by accident, without even realizing when I started it, because I knew nothing about the industry, aligns more with clients. You know, I laugh when people are like, well, what about now Deloitte? And I'd be like, I'm just like, they're the same. They have to make numbers. There's a reason why the big six give the advice they give to their clients. It's because that's where the margin is. I don't believe the big six think TVC and programmatic digital are the best use of money. I think they think it's where they make the most margin. And guess what? I don't blame them. I blame the clients. I love when clients are like, yeah, the big six. I'm like, you're paying them. You're writing the check. You're the one at fault. You know, so it's, look, there's a reason companies go out of business. I know there's a lot of people giggling in the room. I think giggles tend by, if people are in agreement, right, and how silly things can be sometimes, or how silly we actually act. I, to that point, I've actually never met anybody with a half a brain that disagrees in real life, right? Like I'll be on panels at can or A and A, and there'll be four people disagreeing with me and drilling me, right? But then at three o'clock in the morning at the Carlton over Rose, they're like, "You're right," <laughs> you know. So, so I, you know, I, I always see giggling. I, 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 if you care about business, you're gonna agree because all the words out of my mouth are about business. If you're emotional about marketing data for the sake of marketing data, you're gonna disagree. I just haven't met the person that can pontificate properly why if Millard Brown and Nielsen's and Data Logics or anything else, if they were so good, why do so many of those reports come back with amazing ROAS yet the business is not healthy?